In 2014, uh, the Atomic, International Atomic Energy Agency supported a pre-feasibility study for the first nuclear power plant. And since 2018, International Atomic Energy Agency has been providing technical assistance under a technical cooperation project on nuclear power infrastructure development in our country. I therefore take this opportunity uh, on behalf of government to applaud International Atomic Energy Agency for continuous support towards the government of Uganda and our nuclear program. The vision of Uganda is on getting development, transformation of our economy, transformation of our people. But this transformation is hinged on the amount of energy we generate. Every aspect of our economy is going to rotate around energy. And when we look at our vision of 2040, transforming the economy into a middle-income country. It is energy which is pivotal. And when we talk about energy in Uganda, we have diverse sources of energy. We have hydro, we have solar, we have thermal, we also have co-generatoral uh, ways of getting energy. But when we combine all this, even when we have it, when we put it together, the amount of energy which we need to drive the economy falls short. So we're actually seeing the use of nuclear and generation of nuclear as very, very important. And we don't have to wait until we reach 2027 to start thinking about it. Significant progress has been made towards the development of the national infrastructure for nuclear power in Uganda. And some of these, as the permanent secretary highlighted them, are actually visible. One, building institutional and human capacity to plan and manage the nuclear power program. So those structures which I was talking about, cabinet subcommittee, steering committee, working groups, and also within the ministry, we have a department for nuclear energy, and we also have uh, Atomic Energy uh, Council for Uganda. So the institutions to actually help us design and define uh, the way are in place. Uh, site survey has been completed, and eight nuclear power plant uh, potential sites identified. When we talked about nuclear energy in cabinet and even in parliament, everybody's antenna got up. What are you talking about? Everybody is scared of the safety and whatever they have heard about nuclear. So uh, we therefore uh, require and we are doing everything possible to engage our stakeholders not only at national level, we are also getting our uh, stakeholders at regional level through the East African community. We are actually discussing uh, that we are going nuclear. And I was pleased uh, Kenya is also following the same trajectory. Oh, they are ahead of us. I saw in the map, you have already had a review of them. So we are also engaging our neighbors When will the first plant come in place? I said 2031. That is an ambitious plan. And as a country, we have got to commit ourselves because we know how much energy we are generating, 
how much potential we have in hydro. The potential for hydro is anything between uh, 3,000 to 5,000 megawatts, and we cannot stretch it more than that. And when you look at our projected energy requirement, to take us and drive the economy is much higher than that. It is something beyond 30 megawatts uh, generating. And currently we're at uh, 1,300 megawatts. 2022, we shall reach 2,000 uh, megawatts. That's hydro. And we can stretch it with the development of other potential sites for hydros, both mega uh, uh, generating stations and then mini hydros. When you total all, all of it, it will be something around 5,000. Uh, power generation that's expected out of this. By 2031, we expect if we can bring energy mix from nuclear, another 2,000 megawatts, we shall be uh, actually meeting our development energy requirement. We have, when we started this, uh, the studies on uh, uh, citing the nuclear power facilities in the country. We considered the whole country as a whole and looked out for specific parameters that would make the nuclear power plant very stable and prevent also accidents. And as a result of that, we identified areas that were potential to house uh, a nuclear facility and they are in the areas of uh, Chiruhura, Lamo, Nakasongola, Buyende and Kasanda. At the time, it was a Mobende district. We are further zeroing in by conducting detailed ranking assessment of uh, these uh, facilities that we have already, rather of these sites that we have identified. And preliminary uh, studies that we have conducted indicate that uh, Buyende is having uh, better attributes compared to other areas and is followed by Nakasongola. And one of the critical issue that we looked at was uh, uh, having the good geology. We're looking at having a good uh, 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 a base rock and from the studies that we've conducted so far, Buyende and Nakasongola have a very uh, good base rock. And then the second, uh, we plan also to utilize uh, this facility for production of radioisotopes that are very useful in the areas like uh, treatment of cancer, uh, and also water resources management. 